good morning. I have a new episode for you of Quattro Minuti con Casanova. Um, again, this one may not quite be four minutes because there's a fairly short story for you today. You'll see behind me that palace there with sort of the exposed brown brick. That's the Palazzo de Ambas Ambasciatori. Um, which is the palace that was used by the ambassadors in the past. Uh, it's also known as the Palazzo Loredan because that was the family that owned it. And in Venice, a lot of the palaces have multiple names because the names are based on the family that owned it and maybe the next family that bought it and maybe the next family, plus also sometimes the use of that place. So anyways, that's a short history of names of palaces in Venice. Um, Casanova um, probably visited it, but we don't know for sure when uh, it was um, lived in by the Count Filippo Orsini Rosenberg. He was the ambassador there um, in the mid 17th, uh, 1700s, and his wife was Justiniana Wynn. So you may remember hearing about her in other videos. Um, she, when she was young, she had had an affair with Andrea Memmo, a very powerful nobleman in Venice, and then Casanova was good friends with Andrea Memmo, was introduced to Justiniana, later had a short, very short affair with her. Um, but they remained friends, and in fact, as they grew older, they shared a great love for literature, and they continued to write letters back and forth to each other. So. Um, at the time that she was married to the Count and was living in this palazzo, she and Casanova corresponded. Um, we have some fragments from those letters, and she talks about um, thanking him for sending her a book. Excuse me, a book, and um, and you know they just sort of discussed their reading and their writing. Very complimentary towards each other. Very kind towards each other. Um, so it, it's yet another chapter in the interesting story of Casanova's relationship with Justiniana Wynn. Um, he never mentioned specifically visiting her at this palazzo, though he may have. But we do know for sure that he visited later in 1754, and at that time, uh, the next ambassador after the Count Orsini Rosenberg was um, Giacomo Dorazzo, and he and Casanova were definitely friends. Um, Actually, they, oh, I'm mistaken, they met in Vienna in 1754. And then, uh, then when Dorazzo came to Venice, he and Casanova did meet here. Casanova visited him. Um, and then uh, when Dorazzo later traveled and Casanova traveled, they met up in other cities around Europe as well. So they had a long friendship, but part of it happened here in the Palazzo Loredande degli Ambasciatori. <laughs> Sorry for being tongue-tied. Maybe I haven't had enough coffee yet this morning. So um, that's your story uh, for for this location. Sorry, I don't have quotes for this one, but um, there, there is more about it if you look up the section in my book. It's in walk number seven of my guidebook, Seductive Venice, so you can see even, or read even more of it there. I uh, hope you'd enjoy today's episode of Quattro Minuti con Casanova. Grazie.